When you are looking to your financial future, you can see where you're going is by looking at how you are working now. Troy, Troy tells us more in this week's KTAB Financial Friday. Welcome to Financial Friday. <laughs> The best time to start thinking about your retirement is before your boss does. What kind of a worker are you? With the sounds of melodious construction behind me, that is the sound of us constructing your future. What kind of a boss are you? This simple question can determine your financial future. In David Bach's book, which you maybe want to read, called Start Late, Finish Rich, he says the following. Quote, over the years, I've noticed the same thing at just about every workplace I've, I've seen. Employees always seem to break down into three basic groups. 20% fall into the bottom group, 60% fall into the middle group, and about 20% are in the top group. End quote. The definition of these groups is pretty straightforward. The bottom 20 are the have no clue group. These guys can barely manage to get to work on time. They're employed or in business, usually in spite of themselves. And these are the folks who live by the motto, a healthy sleep not only makes your life longer, but it also shortens the work day. They make sure everyone knows the world owes them. And they know that teamwork is important because it helps put the blame on somebody else. You see, you can find these workers in almost any job, stores, restaurants, post office, military, or in your own office building. Now the middle 60% are the want a clue group. And most workers are here. They want to do well, they work hard, they're generally honest and for the most part they do what they're supposed to do. Often they went to school, they got a degree, they got a job and now they're working. These folks do what is expected of them. And although they try hard, for them life never seems very easy. Now the top 20% get it. These are the have a clue group. They know that you get out of life what you put into it. And you can't get 100% of return with only 50% of the effort. They have specific income and career goals and they manage their direction in life instead of waiting for life or someone else to manage it for them. See, these folks know how to win friends and influence people, as the saying goes. These folks are specifically intentioned, and they choose to adapt and evolve to achieve their goals. They are the winners. Now, by this point, you know exactly which category you're in, my friends. And the fact is, where you are now is not where you have to stay. Now, I have personally lived in all three categories at one time or another. And the top category is by far the best. And frankly, it's the easiest. Now you may disagree with me, but hear me out. The bottom 20% and the middle 60% are often controlled by their circumstances. Frustration and discouragement abound. Isn't that a heavy burden to choose to bear? We carry that disappointment with life because we decide to carry it often for the rest of our lives. So why not choose to carry the burden of a hard, planned, and disciplined work period for a shorter period of time? And then enjoy the freedom that will bring later and the vision it brings today. You see, optimists are sure that today is the best day ever, and pessimists are afraid the optimists are right. Even I've been in that trap. So how do you get to the top 20%? Well, wishing and hoping isn't going to do it. It's a start, but it won't get you there by itself. Remember the 80-20 rule, which reminds me. Do you know what? You know where the 80-20 rule came from? It's the Pareto Principle. Back in 1906, an Italian economist named Vifredo Pareto noticed that 20% of Italian people owned 80% of Italy's total wealth. Ever since then, this observation has come to be called the 80-20 rule. Now, how does this apply to you? Well, applying this rule means that a small number of causes are responsible for the majority of the effect. To put it another way, 80% of what you do day to day has the least effect on your success. 80% of your activities are the least valuable. 
So let's take advantage of this idea. Write down this week your activities and identify which 20% of what you do produces 80% of your success. Now in that action plan, write a plan that minimizes the useless busy work that takes up the bulk of your time without producing anything worthwhile. Now think of what your customers would likely say about where and how you add value or where and how you don't. It shouldn't be hard. So take note, make a plan. Start planning your retirement before your boss does. And remember, adventure is often simply bad planning. Have a great week. Thank you, Troy. If you would like to contact Sutton Financial Group, they are located at 2449 South Willis and Suite 106. Give them a call 437-0709 or go to suttonfinancialgroup.com.